Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, <clears throat> well, welcome to the Dream Factory. Uh, <laughs> aptly named, an aptly named place, and also a pivotal point in the life of our young groom. And it's uh, here today that Lillian and Paul join their lives together in holy matrimony, and only a year behind schedule, uh, which is great for the UK. Ever since I was young, I never really understood anything about the world. And I never understood anything that happened in my life. The only thing that ever made sense to me was you, and how I felt about you. And that's all I've ever known, and that's enough. That's enough for me, for the rest of my life, to hang it. I wasn't sure this day would ever come, how apt. <laughs> but you were. I wasn't sure love could survive everything we put it through, but you were. You were always strong and always sure. And now I know I want you to stand beside me for the rest of my life. That's what I'm sure of. Lillian. I promise to always value your intelligence, embrace your eccentricity, and celebrate your passion. I will always encourage you to harness your inner clown and entertain others as much as you entertain me. I will always be here, sitting beside you after your long day, listening to your thoughts and thinking I'm the luckiest man alive to be able to do so. I vow to support you in every way I am able, sharing the burden of your disappointments and rejoicing ecstatically in your successes. I will be like an imaginary friend made real, although not in a creepy horror movie kind of way. <laughs> More like a constant reassuring presence in your life, who may or may not live in a haunted mirror. <laughs> I promise to be your cinema buddy for life. From now, enjoying the latest Marvel movie at our local Odeon, to the virtual reality multiplexes of the future, holding aged hands together as we float through as yet unimagined utopias. I promise to be your constant, your unfaltering pillar, your rock. But most importantly, I vow to love you with all my heart until time itself blinks its last. Lillian, you mean everything to me, and I promise to show it every single day. Dear Paul, I vow to always be grateful for the moments we've spent together. The past five years have been nothing but wonderful, and spending a whole year together last year, literally 24-7, has made me understand deeply that there's no one I'd rather spend my life with, and that as long as we are together, there will always be love and laughter. My favorite author, John Green, as you know, he once said, imagine others complexly, and that's something you've always taught me to do. You're always kind and generous to everyone, and you always remind me that whatever we don't have, we already have lots more than others do. I promise to always speak and act with kindness. I love that we have the same sense of humor, although sometimes questionable. <laughs> we share the same values and celebrate different cultures. I cannot wait to travel the world again with you. I promise to be by your side through the best times and the worst times, but we'll still let you have your poll time so you can watch Drag Race in peace. <laughs> Finally, I promise that we will eventually watch Breaking Bad and The Last of the Lord of the Rings movie as you have been ask asking me to for the past five years. 
I love you and I promise to always love you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also never ending. My love is also never ending. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also never ending. My love is also never ending. Honour and a privilege to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> That's amazing. I present to you your newlyweds, Lily and Paul. <laughs> Let the music play. <laughs> Let me not, to the marriage of true minds, admit impediment. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever-fixed mark which looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose words unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his Bending sickles, compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error, and upon me proved, I never love writ, nor never no man love. few minutes trying to put into words just how much I love my new wife, how she has transformed my life, all of her incredible qualities and shining talents. 
It's like trying to capture sunlight in a jam jar. I know my words can't do her justice, but I will try. We first met five years ago when, as Lillian likes to say, we were introduced by an algorithm. <laughs> now, on our first date, I was impressed uh, by her daring sartorial choice of a glittery silver jumper with the texture of a Brillo pad. Now, this was the first indication of a rich reservoir of wackiness bubbling just below the surface. Now, it was on this first date uh, that our underlying compatibility first presented itself. Uh, we were discussing music when I mentioned one of my favourite bands, the obscure to many, The Mountain Goats. Now, I was shocked when Lillian had not only heard of them, uh, but proceeded to sing one of their best songs this year. Lillian's gifts are innumerable. She is one of the funniest people I have ever met. Not only in her clever world play, word play and surreal flights of fancy, but also her oddball quirkiness. Her sense of humour is completely in line with my own. She is funny, nerdy and weird, just in the same way that I'm nerdy, weird and funny. I have never felt so at home in the company of another person. If it sounds like I'm bragging about just how great my life with Lillian is, then good. I am bragging. I'm bragging because I'm so proud to be sharing my home with such a wonderful person. I want the world to know how great she is and just how much she elevates me as a human being. It is remarkable to me that two souls so in line, so right for each other, who were born on opposite sides of the world and spent decades living independent lives in complete isolation, can somehow ricochet through billions of other people and find themselves looking into the eyes of their soulmate. It is a strange anomaly, a statistical stretch, and the source of so much gratitude to me. I love her so much. I love you so much. And I will do everything I can to make you happy.